Mr. Morgan. You okay? Okay, girl. Get me off this thing, it reeks. Mister, don't know how many times I tried to leave that crazy bastard, but he always he came after me. You. I'm glad he's dead. Uh, sure.
Welcome back, mister. Ah, it's you. Hello, mister. All right, take a look. Looking to get something put together, huh? Good choice. I won't ask too many questions about it. Thank you. Okay, then, girl. Hey there, friend. Wanna take the weight off? Fire's good and hot. Hey, friend. Mikasa Sukasa, friend. Thanks. So, you got a girl, mister? Me neither. Got my eye on one, though. I was hunting north of Annisburg when I came across this cabin. And there's no one there but this woman. Bit bony, but beautiful as the day is long. Real elegant fancy type, too. I see how you like them, too, friend. Don't know what she's doing out there in the middle of nowhere, but turns out she's a widow. She asked me to leave, but in a real nice way. M made me feel good. I watched her from the bushes for a while, saw her cry. I think this is a place I could really hang my saddle. A hot dinner and warm bed every night. Mmm, don't sound bad to me at all. All right, I need to cool down a bit. You know, I can't... Have we met before someplace? You don't know me, friend. Hell no. You can count me the... 
the hell out of this. Easy roads and kind weather, friend.
partner. Hey there! Good evening, mister. Yep. Hello, sirs. Evening. Good evening. Good evening, mister. Crazy! Looking for trouble? Hey, mister. Mister? Hey, howdy, sir.
Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Sir, this way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <sighs> Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Those here really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really very so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. about them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and pack. If you can act naturally and 
Stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Here, stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold him right there. Oh, yep. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, and before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. All right, you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys do you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. There's someone coming on the left. Ha. Oh, hey. 
Hey, well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one did. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed in the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Good for you. Give this a quick dousing as well. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! You got a fireball, right? Let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. You ain't leaving here! I deal with these fellas. You keep 
order. Money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. I think we lost them. Now we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? 
Later. I, I got some business. Right you are, English. Another job well done, I'd say. I need a word with you, Morgan. Hey, Strauss. Those claws could use a wash, Mr. Morgan. You okay? Hey, Fenton! <laughs> oh, never again. Glad to hear it. These days, I'll show you what real copy is. I look forward to it. Morning. Arthur, come on. Don't wash that blood and mess off. This sulking, it's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. 
Oh, shut up! Gladly! Good morning to you. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Hello. Good morning. Morning, Arthur. Hey there, Tilly. Pearson. Yep.
thinking about here? What happened? How are we... What was that? Who the hell are you, boy? I was just passing through. Don't mean to intrude on your politics. Damn jackass. Hi there, mister. Hello. Hey, partner. Good morning. Can I help you? Well, it looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. How about the stables, I think? Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend.
Hey, mister. Morning, mister. We're good men, like you. You don't know me. You turn up in town, you're helping everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attacked my fields. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. The old fool. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaites about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. 5,000 for horses. They must be rich. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Yeah! easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Alright. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. 
Head around the front. Hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Uh huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy there, now. Easy. Easy now. Whoa. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa. This here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real. Uh huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Hey. Easy now. Easy. You're okay. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back if there's any problems. Regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We'll be involved! I said stop these men! Walked our way out! We'll have to go through the fields! 
these horses to Clemens Cove, quick, before we run into any more trouble. Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <clears throat> Easy. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Hey. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Thanks again for saving me in that cornfield. Of course, you do the same. Let's keep our eye on Mr. Trelawney. How you doing? This place gives me the creeps, always has done. <laughs> me too.
There she is. Arthur. Hey, Mary Beth. Good morning, Arthur. You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? <laughs> been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing. A lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well... You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Ripper, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Ma can put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. Hello, Abigail. Good morning, Arthur. That Braithwaite job was a lot of work for not enough money. I was just doing what Dutch asked us to. You got a brain of your own, don't you? Miss Gaskell? Okay, Hi. I'll catch you later then. I don't know, Dutch. All we're doing with these families seems like more trouble than it's worth. Oh, nonsense. We are close to something. Hosea thinks so, too. I sure hope so. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Arthur. Hey, get up. What's going on? Haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pearson. Can't wait to taste this. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Oh, hello. You did good with that graze business. Like I told you, I was born burning down manor houses. Let's just hope it was all worth the trouble. Well, I should get back to it. All right. Mr. Morgan. Morning, dear. Hey, Arthur. Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamps, stole some guns. Good work. Yeah, it's a pretty good spot. Well hidden.
okay, old man? Uh, sure. <laughs> just dandy, partner. Just dandy. <coughs> hey, yo. Hello. <laughs> All right. Arthur. <coughs> Hi there. You sure you're okay? I'm fine. Well, if you ever need something, you let me know. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Arthur. Word with you, Morgan. Take it easy there. Arthur, <laughs> we need to talk to you. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> All right. Follow me. So, tell me again about this big 
can't go wrong, plan of yours? Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Need should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the Volt Man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up is just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, you rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks have. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Keep it down now. We're here.
Good morning. Hi. Oh well. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Keep it cool and follow me, fellas. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. She's got him real dead. Would you care to? I was a child, and it's just, I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn right, go. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn. Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. <gasps> now, you shut the hell up and be still. I'll keep a lookout at the door. Hey, keep still. If I see that leg move again, you get a bullet in it. Not much. This is taking
Okay, we're going. No, nah, hold on. Wait till she's gone real dead. Would you care to? himself in here. Come here. <clears throat> Open the lock boxes now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I... God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but uh... you better be quick. <clears throat> You shut the hell up and stay still! I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Please, let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. just yet. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, 
I'm ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Last one. Good. We gotta move. Give me a second. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you, insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry.
think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Uh, Mrs. Downs. Yep. It's not cold in the ground, and you come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Good evening, Arthur. Don't want to sit on those rifles too long. <laughs> sure thing. Well, handle it quick, please. 
So we could go back for your cane. I know where it is. Lady. Hey there. That's my fault, Sadie. You did real good in Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. You too. I'm ready for the next one. Yeah. Well, let's wait a bit. Hey, Tilly. Hello. Okay. Well, let's talk more later. Okay. Mr. Morgan. I feel I made a bit of a fool of myself again. Well, uh, we've all done it. And you saved my life again. Well, uh, maybe one day you'll save mine. Or my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Don't make fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, it wasn't a complete waste of time. I stole this from one of those awful men. You should have it. Thank you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget my manners. Be well, Mr. Morgan. Hey there. Evening. Evening. Hey there. It's all around like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and it's split into two. And that's what you call the ring dang goo. <laughs> <laughs> Father come in, angrily said, Now you have lost your mate. Yeah. Pack your bag and coat tags too. Make your living off the ring dang goo. Yeah. The ring dang goo. Now what is that? It's soft and round like a pussy cat. Got, got a hole, hole in the middle, middle and it's split into two. That's, that's what you call the ring dang goo. She yeah. went on to be a whore. Hey, this time upon her door. Dollar ring. Oh, Driscoll. Those twins who bought the horses are strange, huh? Real strange. And they don't like Cubans. Now, there better be some real money at the end of all this. Hey. Hey. Hi, Sean. Hey. Having a rest there, are you? And boy, have I earned it. Uncle. Another busy day. Look out. What you got going on? Nothing much. Yeah, that don't surprise me. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur. Have a nice evening. Evening, Arthur. That looks fun. I guess. Well, don't let me interrupt you. Let me know if you find candy. In Germany. I read about it in the newspaper. By next year, we'll all be driving. And flying to Mr. The Morgan! Gee, Morgan! Forever. Here's one up for a machine. So maybe the horse can't. 
Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's an idea. What do you want? Oh God, what is he putting this long? I'm not. He waits until the meat is crawling with lice. I'm not cooking. quite sure. Oh. <laughs> this keeps happening. <laughs> you too. Mind your manners a little. Mr. Pearson, he takes well, good care Well, I should get back to it. All right. Good work on that bank job. Loved every minute. There'll be plenty more where that came from. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. Always good to see you. Hi. Miss Grimshaw. Hello. Sadie. Hey there. Molly. Arthur. You heard about the bank in Valentine? Yeah. Sounds like it went very well. Good work, Arthur. Uh, Bill, Karen, and Lenny put it together. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. Yes. Hi there. Okay. You boys mind if I sit down a while? Been a tough few weeks. I know I've been kind of mad with you all. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, but I... I want us to get out of here. Everybody nearly gone crazy. I'm just trying to keep things together. Sometimes it gets hard. I guess I'm... I guess I'm struggling to just... find a path forward for us all. Same as Dutch. Same as Jose. I don't want to die. But if I have to, I will. So... Forgive me. All of you. There he is. Arthur, if you're bored, there's always work to be done. I ain't bored. Just a suggestion. Yep. Gentlemen. Hi there. Hello, Arthur. That scar healed pretty well in the end. I'm stuck with him now. Anyway, I know I've ribbed you about that enough. Sounds good. Hey, Arthur. <laughs> 